in the office, we are working in an open space, which means that there is a natural exchange of information without being specific on each one. But when someone has a problem or uh, some issues with a file or whatever, or discussing on the phone, everyone is hearing what he's talking about and so is aware about the issues or, or the problem. Of course, with the COVID coming, we had to work uh, remotely from, from home. I saw that this natural exchange of information tend to diminish when working each one on his private home. Just to give you an example, the, the, the first week we were in teleworking, there was natural that uh, everyone was calling each other to make sure that they were aware about the things going on and so on. And then after a few weeks, there was one call, one or the second day or one call a week or whatever. And suddenly there was no call anymore. So this commun natural communication had disappeared. So I had to reinstall, I would say, virtual meetings just to share information, not to deal a specific point, but in order to have everyone to exchange what they did, how they did, and then what are the concerns for the others and what the implication for each other. That's something that needs to be maintained over the time because I think we will probably not get back fully to the previous world. The world has changed and I think it's changed forever. And that's something we need to pay attention to. I would at least advocate for a more flexible approach, the way certain functions are fulfilled. Sometimes it's difficult, I would say, but but for some other jobs. And, and certainly if you have kids with very young kids and these kind of things where you need to have a more flexible timing because of the means. If I can compare the old approach, I would say where yeah. you need to be in the office eight hours a day at least to perform your job, say more the Nordic approach where I say, okay, the society is turn to the, the family first and you work for a living and, and you don't live for working, <laughs> if I can yes. say so. That's something we need to kind of meet in the middle and say, okay, of course you need to be devoted to your job and, and your responsibility, but as part of your entire body, your family is probably also uh, as important as that as your job. And mm. so you need to find the right mix, the right balance on that approach. I think for me, the, the right approach is when you get educated people that know what responsibility means, they can organize their work themselves. Some freedom on that space to get them happy in their job and yeah. make sure that they fulfill their role correctly. I consider that the, the physical contact is also important and it's probably even more important with people that are very remote. We are covering the, the whole planet. So we have, uh, I have my team here in Brussels, but I've also part of uh, local treasury teams in, in China, in Singapore, in the US and New York, uh, in Geneva for our European center. I think that you can work remotely with those guys from time to time, but at a certain point in time, you need a physical contact because that moment that you share real things. So your philosophy, your approach of the job, how they perform, why they do so, and also the exchange of experience. It's much more natural when you are face-to-face -face with people than rather through a screen and a camera.